We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Scrambling around. Tackle made around the 39-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Zips it to the back. And he's level at the 48. He's taken down at the 39. Each time you run an option, a big play is possible. This time they came up big on third down. the middle for a nice game. Brought down at about the 25-yard line. Inside the 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. Touchdown, Rice! There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. He makes the PAT. So an eight-play, 74-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Rice lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas Tech's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the coach. Well, it does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find the one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. Not the greatest pass, but a really, really good play by the receiver to bail out his quarterback. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Heavy pressure. Quick throw. He's tackled at the 44. Just throws this one away. From the 44 yard line. Second down. Quick throw. Tackle around the 41 yard line. Gaining three yards. That makes it 37. Hey, hey, here, here I come. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. 
Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the 31 yard line. That makes it first and 10. He steps out at the 27. That's good for the game for the Rocks. That makes it second and six. Quick throw out to the receiver. Knocked out of bounds. The 17 yard line. Got a man. Watch out here. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's on a move. Touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. Taken down at the 46. He has some room. He's at the 40. And down he goes at the 32. A two-yard run by the halfback. Gaining two yards. That makes it second and eight. He's at the 20. Someone wanted a little head start there. Offside. Defense. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. First and 10, ball on the 18-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. They got him for a loss. A good tackling safety is key for any defense. And if they can diagnose a play like this guy can, he can be a real menace. From the 18-yard line, third down. Rifles it left. Guns it in there, touchdown. Converts the extra point. 
An eight play, 75 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. So our score, 14 7. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. He's scrambling. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. And he's immediately tackled. Somebody hit the upset alert button because this one looks like it just might be heading in that direction. 14-7, Owl. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Fires it quickly. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the six-yard line. Quick throw, and he's got the halfback again. He's taken down around the one yard line. That brings him second and goal. Throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. We've got third and goal. Ball on the one-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. Texas Tech gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. Both these defensive coordinators have got to be going crazy right now. We've had four straight possessions in which these offenses have put points on the board. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Here's a run. He makes it to the 25-yard line.34-yard line. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Well, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. He really got a hold of that one. What a collision. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run, but boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. 
He's tackled around the 38-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it first and ten. Gets it out quickly to the 20. Tackle at the 15 yard line. Him hard at the eight. Runs it and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 12 yard line. That's a great tackle at the six. They come out on an empty backfield. He's going to try and scramble. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Makes it out to about the 39. And he tackles him hard at the 49 yard line. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 36. He's on the run. Gets out to around the 28. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. Now well, he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. From the 16-yard line, first down. Runs it right, nice pickup. A nice seven-yard gain on the option keeper. Rice is going to have to use their second time out of the half. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. So they're going to go for it here.
Zips it to the tight end. They can't bring him down, and he's in. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, a high-scoring game. This one's been up and down the field. Soon we're going back to the studios, and that means Reese and David Pollock. And I don't know if either one of them can explain this. Thing. No, I, I think we may have to expand the halftime to give them enough time to be able to break down what just occurred in these first 30 minutes of football. I'm not sure either one of them are smart enough to break this down. Out of bounds at the 35. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Catches it, he's immediately tackled behind the line. Scrambling around, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. And that'll be three and out. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Brought down at the 33. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. That's a loss of four yards. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. We've played a half. We've got a stalemate right now, 21 apiece. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That looks like it's going through. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Heading into the third quarter now. Tie ball game. We're set to resume play. He just drills this one. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. A 
just throws this one away. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Throws complete, big loss. Fourth down, upcoming as they go three and out. And now they should come away with pretty good field position. So consider that a big stop. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Well, that was a great punt, and there was even better coverage on the return. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter, and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. And they make the stop at the 49. Fights forward to around midfield. A one-yard gain by the halfback. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. Nice run there as they work the outside. He's on the run. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. Quick throw to the tight end. And he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. And he's taken down right around the 12 yard line. From the 12 yard line, it's first down. Carries the ball for a nice game. Puts on a move, touchdown. on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Owls' defense really looked pathetic in that first half, Kirk, and now they're doing a nice job. Well, obviously, they've made some adjustments after the first half, and it's paid off for them. I think right now they're tuned in to what this offense is trying to do, and I think they're also just playing with a little bit more of a chip on their shoulder. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. Tackle made at about the 35. Gain of two on the play. First down. Alert, alert, alert! Cat, 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 cat! Now he's scrambling. And he is drilled at the 44-yard line. That's good for a game of nine yards. That brings up second and one.
He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That's a deep on the play. That makes it first and 10. Alert, alert, alert! Cat, cat, cat! Check three, check three! Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down right around the 40. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Check four, check four! And he just gets rid of it. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. the 33-yard line. That's good for him in seven yards. First down. Pulls it in, but he can't stay in bounds, and that'll be a loss. From the 35-yard line. Second down. Quick, he catches another. He's tackled at the 22. Number 12 brings him down at the 22 yard line. First down. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That's a team 14 yards on the ball. First and goal. Shows some moves and he's in. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Either one, either one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute put points up. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Makes it out to about the 33. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Tackle around the 42-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And he throws it away. Man left, man left. From their own 42-yard line. Second down. Up the middle. Tackled after decent pickup. So at the end of the third quarter, tie ball game here. We're all knotted at 28. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Seven to Mike, Mike seven. Gains his way to the 43 yard line. He 
gets out to about the 42-yard line. And the snap goes to the back. He tackles him for a loss. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They come out on an empty backfield. And a quick throw. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And it's good. like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. It's complete, and down he goes at the 35-yard line. First down grab by the receiver, and he's tackled around the 39-yard line. And he's taken down at the 19. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. That'll make it second and seven. The 10, the senior makes the catch. And that sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Second down, goal to go. About a yard to Pater. Less than three minutes in the game. Dumps it out left to the running back. He has three scoring tosses in the game now. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. The Owls have got to be fired up how this game is going. They still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on the board. Quick out to his receiver. Down, down. 
scrambling around. And he tackles him hard at the 43. Steps out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Complete for three yards, and that's good for a first down. Good look there from the quarterback, dumping it off and coming away with a new set of downs. He's going to try and scramble. He gained a good six yards on that scamper. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He scrambled. He's at the 30, and he hits him hard at the 28. He's on the run. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. Second, second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The running man gets a yard, maybe less. When you've got the experience that this safety has, you can read plays very quickly and be in just the right position to make a stop near the line of scrimmage. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. So they're going to go for it here. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. Gaines his way to the 39-yard line. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Texas Tech is up by four. They go with the run. There's a very impressive open field tackle. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Rice has called their final timeout. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Makes it out to about the 46. It's final, a close one to the very end. Texas Tech 35, Rice 31. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.